Let's listen to Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu's full answer to Jimmy's question on Iran. Mr. Netanyahu, you recently compared Hitler with President Ahmadinejad of Iran. Would you please restate what you said, and do you still consider that to be the case? I said uh, a year and a half ago that the year is 1938 and Iran is Germany and it's racing to acquire nuclear weapons. Well, if that's the case, then we're in 1939. Uh, our intelligence chiefs have publicly said that it would take Iran three years to develop uh, the critical knowledge to produce a weapon. Well, they're now about two years left. They haven't changed as far as I know their assessment. You asked me about comparisons with Hitler. Well, let me show you, let me give you one comparison. There are obviously differences. Uh, one is uh, supp advance the supremacy of race. The other is advancing the supremacy of creed. Uh, it's different societies, different histories. Uh, but the use of unbridled power, the uh, physical elimination of enemies that takes place all the time, all the time. Um, I'm not sure the world press is fully aware of what is happening inside Iran and how enemies are simply being dispatched, simply being dispatched, I mean, uh, killed, murdered, all the time and publicly too, publicly, not only quietly. Uh, this is taking place all the time in Iran and the imposition by a small sect uh, imposing its will with violent means on, um, on the society at large and uh, for the purpose of outward aggression. There are these similarities. Here's a dissimilarity. The dissimilarity is that whereas in the previous case, they embarked on that regime, embarked on a global conflict before developing nuclear weapons, this regime is first developing nuclear weapons before it embarks on a global conflict. Now, you know, if the Middle East turns into a nuclear powder keg, that's very, very bad. I mean, you really don't, we really don't want that happening in our world.